Okay, how to study for farm. First tip I have for you guys taking pharmacology is to print your lecture slides three per page so that you can get the lines next to each slide so that when the teacher is talking about that slide, you can have your notes right next to it. And another tip is to um, go ahead and make concept maps after you've done the lecture slide. So organize the maps like this by class so you want to do okay these are all blood pressure drugs and then you you organize them by class and then for each class you're going to write the action and the adverse now don't write all the adverse effects because every drug is going to have a whole bunch of adverse effects when you go through your slides you'll see the teacher will most likely have the boxes that come in the textbook like these and um See, where's another one and these where it would list a lot of different adverse effects but you don't need to know all of them just know the important one that your teacher stressed so for this one captopril which is an ace inhibitor he stressed that it, it has an adverse effect of cough so when you're making your map don't write all of those adverse effects yes keep them in mind but keep in mind mostly the most important one which is cough and go ahead and organize your maps based on your class and what your teacher said was important. Don't overdo it with the maps and put too much information that you won't be able to remember. Just write down the most important things because in the beginning of the um, semester, I did this map and this was way too much information for what the test was this was what my exam number one was on and i wrote down you see here i wrote down all the side effects and you have to study smarter not harder so go ahead and figure out different ways like for example this one the adverse effects if you look at all these adverse effects they pretty much have to do with the central nervous system so instead of me writing all of these i should have just crossed it out and wrote cns effects in general so yeah, um, that's how I pretty much study for farm. I just go through all of these um, maps. When I when I finish reading over the my notes, I basically transfer my notes into a map. And once I transfer my notes into a map, I don't really study the slides anymore. I just study the maps. So as you can see here, I'm almost done with farm, and I have a lot of maps. And then on top of that, my teacher makes us do um, these templates in a binder. So we have these to go through too. These are pretty much all the drugs I, we have studied throughout the whole entire semester. And it's separated by weeks, as you can see. So he makes us do these where you just have to know that you just have to fill out the action, therapeutic use, complications, which are adverse effects, the contraindications and precautions. Sorry for the glare. Um, the interactions, the evaluation of medical effectiveness, client education, nursing and, uh, interventions, and medical medication administration. So this, this is actually too far in detail. It's actually best for you to just make a map so that you can compare the drugs and because when on the test, it's going to all merge together. When you're getting a question and the, the question is asking you something and then A is a drug you le just learned, B is a drug you just learned, C is a drug you just learned, they're all gonna merge together and you're gonna forget which one is which. So when you're studying, you wanna know the differences between all of the drugs and how they're different is gonna help you answer the question because if you get a question that's about cough and you studied like this, you know the ones that have an adverse effect are, for cough is Lozartan and your captopril. So you're already going to remember, I didn't write down cough for, you know, the renin inhibitor. I didn't write down cough for the calcium channel blocker or whatever the case is. This is going to make it much easier for you. And especially if you're a visual learner, this is going to help you a lot. Because honestly, when I'm in an, an exam or a quiz, I literally remember I wrote whatever um, drug it is in the specific color and I can see where I wrote what I wrote down. So on the test, like say they were asking a question on Lozartan and I remember writing pregnancy contraindicated on the bottom right um, corner of the page, I would literally see this section of the, of the paper while I'm reading 
the the question so I'm bound to get it correct so that's how I've pretty much been studying for a farm thanks for watching this video guys if you like these kinds of videos please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what kind of video you guys want me to do next and see you guys in my next video bye hey, thanks for watching bye